If you have the money, you are a major donor to Arizona State University, and you're sitting across the table from Bobby Hurley, and you're asking, why should I give you a million dollars? Why should I give you, you know, $1.5 million to, to go mess around NIL, whatever? And realistically, what's the answer that Bobby has? I think there's a vision, but let's get into but, Arizona State as a program. Okay, and, 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 I, and I get that, right? Like, in and, and all this conversation about Bobby, we've talked about how he is handicapped because of what is going on with the athletic department around him, Yeah, what is going on with his basketball program, fan buy-in, everything like that. Like, nobody's saying that Bobby's fumbling, like, the perfect situation here, but... It's not if perfect, you're, no. If, if you're the head coach of a program and you can't sit down and sell that program to people... Like, listen, dude, you can spin zone anything. You made me spin zone being an athletic director and cutting two of the most successful sports at ASU. And you know what? I fucking spin zone. Then, it. then, then spin it. Like, spin it. Okay, here, here it is. Here, here is how you sell Arizona State Sun Devil basketball to donors. To donors. As you've seen in my nine years here, when we hit heights that other people did not expect, yeah. When we became almost the number one team in the nation, the last undefeated team. In the nation, the term guard you was popular among all of college basketball. When you've seen guys turn into the NBA, like a Lou Dort, turn into really good, solid players, and you've seen what I can do at its heights, I sit back and I wonder, well, why can't I do that consistently? And part of that is I simply, I don't have the resources that I want in order to pour into this. And I will continue to pour into this. And as you'll see, like, I'll turn the roster over if I need to turn the roster over. Like, I'll get in guys' faces. Like, I'll, you know, you if you don't think I care, then you're not watching ASU basketball. But what I need is the support. What I need is the resources to not just make it a flash in the pan in a season and be up and down. I need to help. I need help. To be mm -hmm. consistent, but you've yeah. seen, you've seen that I can do good. You've seen I have, that I can, I, have. I can hit heights yeah. and, and you know that I know what it takes to be on a team that wins a national championship. Yeah. You know that as I've a player, it, as a player, but I've seen it, but I've seen, I, I've seen it from my brother. I've seen, you've I have seen it from seen, my brother. I come yeah. from a family of, uh, of successful coaches. Like you, you know that I know what I need to do. And it, but it, am I able to do it right now? No, and that's why I need you. Like, that's the spin zone. You're right, you're right, that's you're right. But you, you say things as, again, being Bobby Hurley, and on the flip side of that coin, if you're a donor, right? And if you're a donor who is genuinely a, a, a businessman that you you want to see, any good businessman wants to see a return, right? Obviously, yeah. you're donating NIL. You're not necessarily looking to, to see money It's not in a return. money-making opportunity. No, but no. you're looking to see results. Correct. Right, so you bring up, again, Bobby Hurley in Arizona State. You've seen him go to the highest highs, right? But that same year where you had the highest highs, which, mind you, was seven, eight, six, seven years yeah. ago at this point, I'm you lost in the first four yeah. to Syracuse. Yeah. Right? Right. And then after that, you look at the last four years, you've made one NCAA tournament. You lost in the first round. Three of the last four seasons, you haven't had 15 wins. Like, yeah. And now, now not only that, but now you're heading to a dominant conference. Not just a dominant conference, a record-breaking conference. Big 12 recorded, uh, it was set a Big 12 record. Eight teams selected to the NCAA tournament. You've got Houston as a one seed in their very first year. You've got Iowa State set to be a number two seed. You've also got a three seed in Baylor, a four seed in Kansas, a six seed in BYU, a six seed in Texas Tech, a seven seed in Texas, and a nine seed in TCU. Oh my! God. And that's without even okay. bringing up that's without even bringing up that Arizona and Colorado both made the NCAA tournament this year. Yeah, and they're also going to be in that. And conference. Utah ain't bad either. And now you're going to play all of those teams. You okay. just got off okay. having to play Utah, Cal, Stanford. You played nobody. Can I make one thing clear is that I agree with you, but I will continue. <laughs> I will continue to spit. Okay. And I want the I want the chat and I want people to understand this because somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna be like, oh my god, you flip-flop. No, this is the spin zone, okay? This is the spin zone. If I'm Bobby Hurley right now and you have a million dollars that I want, I've actually overachieved. Dude, shut the listen, hell listen, up, listen, dude. listen, 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 no, listen, okay, listen. I'm listening. I'm listen, listening. This is why this is why Bobby needs to be on his team, right? I've actually overachieved. That's crazy. Listen. Uh-huh. You've seen what I can do, and yes, the lows get very low. But you come in with this arena, with this NIL program, oh. with these facilities, with this sort of fan buy-in, mm -hmm. and you come in and do better. I don't think you can. Because you know what? Until we turn around the funding, until we turn around the buy-in for this program, which I will do everything in my power to do, but I can't donate the money. 
I can't give the money, but you've seen I can get good players with the resources that I have. Maybe I can't build a complete team, but if I had an extra mil, two mil, three mil, I could do that. Yeah, maybe. I could do that. Maybe. And you know what? Maybe we need to renovate the arena. Maybe we need to get new practice facilities. I can't do that. I can't do that myself. Name another coach who could walk in here and could do that. Again, I, I don't believe this. I don't think this any is, coach could walk is, in and do it right now because there's not an athletic director to okay, make decisions. And then that's all. And that's also like, like, I don't have an athletic director and the athletic director I had before was crap. I have a president who doesn't buy into this stuff. Like what I need is resources. Like I am a good coach. I am a coach that players like and sure a lot of them leave, but a lot of them weren't good fits and I have been playing. But were they not good fits or were they simply you didn't evolve this, the offense around the players? I agree with you. Where you this did, sucks like, because I do agree with you. don't have to play you. that role anymore. We got a, a 999 super chat from Donald saying, fire Bobby Fund. I am juiced today. We'll throw that in the fire Bobby Fund for you, Donald. But That's crazy. The fire Bobby Fund is also our, uh, our Sumbrero's Fund. There you so go. There you go. But in, look, in crazy. reality, like you get players and players that are in the NCAA tournament that we're going to talk about a little bit later <laughs> yeah. on in the show that yeah. have had really, really uh, great seasons. And again, you've got talent on this roster, right? But from a very basic perspective of looking at the guys that Arizona State had on their roster to the way Bobby Hurley's teams run in the past, you knew one of two things was going to happen. A, either it wasn't going to be a fit offensively, yeah. right? Because Bobby's offense runs very different than the type of players that are on this team. Or you were going to get a needle in a haystack and Bobby was going to change the offense to fit the players he had on the roster. And you almost had a little bit of both. Like, it was just such a terrible mix from start to finish that, like, you really do need to wipe the slate clean in your first season. But again, my argument here is Arizona State, Bobby Hurley, everybody before that, like, there's never been a time for Arizona State to, quote-unquote, answer the question in the headline, be relevant in March, right? The time that every college basketball fan truly gives a shit about, the Arizona State Sun Devils haven't in the last 20 years really given Sun Devil fans something to, to get up and be excited for in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. There have been 80 NCAA tournaments. Arizona State has made 17 of them. That is 21%. <laughs> 